Hey guys, I'm Cole and I got another Transformers for you today. This is Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Scout Class Depth Charge. He, uh, as you can see, he transforms into a nice little boat, which is actually the basic shape is that of a U.S. Lockheed Martin literal combat ship con concept. This is a concept design even for America. They never actually built this boat. Um... It was intended to be a stealth boat, and what's funny about it being a stealth boat is that all this little molded in detail and all these panels and stuff would absolutely ruin its stealth profile. But, uh, yeah, and normally the other one, the, the, the uh, United States version, the one that they wanted to build, didn't have missile launchers. It actually had a, a helicopter landing pad in the back, and if you want to, you can actually just pop off the missile pads, and there you go. You have a helicopter landing pad if you're so inclined. It's kind of cool, but he actually has these. I prefer big old giant missile pod things. And they uh, pop back on via ball sockets. He's, he's a little short, dude. He's only about, like, maybe four inches long. <clears throat> it's a... Uh, not not the size of the boat, it's the motion of the ocean, right? And I'm I'm breaking my toy again. Let me let me get my size comparisons in here. Here he is next to Film Noir Spider-Man. Soda can. We got Scourge and Hubcap. We got the car robots. And even though they're completely out of scale with each other, here is Reveal the Shield Depth Charge, Cybertron Short Round, and Titan Return Sea Spray because they're the only other boats I really have. <clears throat> um, oh, I just know something interesting. Sea spray can fit in the back of depth charge. That that's cool. Can short round fit? Probably. Hold on a second. Hey, short round fits pretty damn well, actually. That is that is interesting to know. Hello, that is cool. Uh, he's got posable missile launchers back here. This right here is what I was complaining about a moment ago about me breaking my toy. This uh, shoulder pad here is coming loose on me. So, we're already transforming them, so let's go ahead and continue. You're going to pull these panels away, and those are going to become his arms. You're going to open up the whole front keel of the boat. And you're going to bring the legs down. He's got a lot of weird joints in his legs. And we're going to right now, here we go. <coughs> there was a um water ski jet mode he's supposed to be able to do. Like this. And I'll lower his arms down here. Straighten his arms all out. Get his thumbs transformed up. And there he is with his pontoon legs. <laughs> he is absolutely unbalanced in this mode. But this is supposed to be his quick maneuver about rush about mode. We're going to go ahead and complete the transformation by turning the um, back part of the boat here, the command tower, and folding that inwards and getting it in place. Twist them around at the waist. And now you got to kind of finagle his legs to be something. Here we go.
There we go. And he's got this very... For a good guy robot, he looks very intimidating and mean and just all kinds of trouble. But he's got this unique silhouette with the weird bulky legs and the, the these weird hands that are made out of the, the, the vents. And he looks cool. I like him. No backpack to speak of at all. He's got these brilliant shoulder-mounted missile launchers now. Let's go ahead and bring in... Film Noir, Spider-Man, Scourge, Hubcap, oh. Hubcap and him came out in the same line, actually. Or, around about the same time, at the least. And, as we brought him in, in the vehicle modes, let's bring in the other Ocean Bots. Come on. There we go. So, Scout Class Depth Charge here is an all-around actually really fun figure. The legs are kind of weird and goofy and hard to figure out. But he's nice and poseable. He's got a swivel for the head. He's got ball-jointed shoulders, swivel at the shoulder, Double jointed elbow. He does have a thumb articulation going on, but like that is an issue. His shoulders are pegged on with these short little plastic pegs. Do I have any guns around? Okay, so I've got this one here, but like he really can't hold it very effectively. So, like, yeah, he's got a thumb, but what's he gonna do with it? He's got a nice firm waist joint, bull jointed hips, at the hip swivel, weird knee thing going on. We can get all kinds of weird shit going on and like he's stable. He's got nice vented details and stuff and yeah, most of his vehicle mode becomes his legs and then his arms. It's a fun little figure though. It's a great little alt mode. All around, I, I think he's on eBay for like 20 bucks at most, which isn't a bad price for a going on 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 15-year-old little minifigure because a lot of these guys back in the days would be given to kids to play with, and nowadays they're missing pieces and they're all beat to hell. So one in this decent condition is actually not bad. This is really good condition for this guy. So I'm Colwyn. This has been Transformers. Revenge of the Fallen, Scout Class, Depth Charge. You should get one. It's a fun little boat transformer, a fun little pocket toy. Yeah, I enjoy them. Thank you for watching.